Okay, under the microscope, I have some yeast cells, and I put coloring in with the yeast. So the yeast are floating around, alive, taking in materials as needed. And as you can see, especially that one yeast cell there is really pinkish, reddish inside. It is living. It is taking in the liquids with the sugar, and in doing so, taking in the dye color. Now I'm going to pause this, and then we're going to look at some dead yeast cells to see if they are pinkish or reddish in color. And now we have a whole bunch of dead yeast cells kind of all clumped together, and they do not have the red stain on the inside of them. You may see red around the edges, but not on the inside. This is due because these were dead yeast cells. The one on the other um, slide was living yeast cells. And like I said, I put a red color or a red dye in the water with them. And this is one of the transport systems we have talked about. One was living and one was dead. This is an example of active transport. This is not diffusion. This is not osmosis. This is not facilitated diffusion. If it was osmosis, diffusion, or facilitated diffusion, the dead cells would have the color on the inside because it would just go through the membrane. Remember, no energy is needed, so it doesn't matter if the cell is living or dead. Active transport, energy is needed to get the food, the substances inside the cell. So in the slide before, you could see that the living cells had the red stuff inside. The living cells were producing energy, moving things across the membrane by using energy. And that red color, which was mixed in with their food, was going in. 